What is up, everyone? It is Nigel and myself, Leon Lush. Doing a new video today. Thanks for joining us. Listen, we're leaving the memes in the back seat right now. Uh, right, It's currently 1 a.m. for me. I'm getting up in about six hours, headed to Logan Airport, hopping on a plane, flying to L.A. to get ready for a week at VidCon, staying in an Airbnb with some excellent people. I'm very excited. Uh, I'm actually scheduling this video to upload tomorrow, which will be Tuesday at about 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, when you'll be seeing this, I will be in the air still flying, uh, getting ready to land in L.A. So, I just wanted to do a little bit of uh, kind of like a day-to-day, -day, Volume 2, if you're familiar with that kind of satire vlog I did a month ago. Getting back into that right now. I don't have a laptop, so I'm not going to be able to upload much while I'm in Anaheim, but I will be getting a lot of footage, and I'll hopefully be able to make another video or two when I get back. And then, uh, you know, regular... Scheduling will resume. I have a couple of songs in the works that I'm almost done with that I'm really excited about. Shit's, uh, it's going to be popping, so I'm excited. But if you want to come along for the ride, uh, please join me. I, some of the footage you're about to see in this video, I just was recording earlier today uh, before work, and now I'm home from work. I'm finishing up some last-minute uh, essentials, packing, fucking toothpaste and soap. All those things you need. All those things you need to stay clean when you're a fat, sweaty guy. But, uh, let's do it. Cue the intro. So it's Monday. I'm leaving for VidCon tomorrow morning. It's like 9 a.m. and I have to work tonight and I've done zero to prepare or pack. Typical dude. No discipline or preparation at all. So I'm gonna go grab my suitcase, get this shit. Pop it. I've been debating whether or not to bring Nigel along for the trip. You know, I don't want to make a weird impression, but I also don't want my man to miss out on all the fun and activities. What do you think, idiot? The wife helped me make this packing list, get me started off on the right foot, so hopefully I can uh, pack most of the things that I need, because if I did this by myself, I would probably, I, w I would show up with nothing. I'm terrible at planning. <sighs> About to hop in the Corolla, make a couple of last minute stops, do a couple errands, stop at the bank, deposit some cash. Gotta have some cash on me for spending money at VidCon, but you don't want to have a lot of cash on you in case you get jumped by... I'm just, I'm just kidding. I, I would fucking kill someone if they tried to, if they tried to jump me. Listen, I am very sorry about the wind noise in the camera. This camera's brand new. I haven't figured out a way to combat this yet. I will eventually figure it out, but for now, please bear with me. It's extremely humid out today. My car is about a thousand degrees, so let's give this minute, minute to air out. So this video is going to be a little uncurated. I just bought a new Sony RX. 100 Mark V, which I'm using right now to um, to record. I'm bringing along with me to VidCon. I just kind of want to capture the experience, do some more vlog style stuff. Uh, it's gonna be an incredible time. I'm I'm staying in a place with like people like Bunty King that you know, Chris Raygun, King Wolf, I'm Alex, Wild Spartans, Lord Vega, uh, several others, and. I'm just looking forward to meeting these people who I've been fucking around with online for so many months. Uh, making some videos, going to, to see other creators at VidCon, and uh, I'm just going to try to get as much footage as I can. I don't actually have, I don't have a laptop I'm bringing, so I'm not going to be able to upload while I'm there. So I'm just kind of putting this video up before I go, and I'm going to have a bunch of footage to edit when I get back, and I'll maybe try and do like a one or two part uh, video, just my experience there. but. Normal videos will resume after the fact. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do those uh, while I'm in California. But uh, I hope you come along for the ride, enjoy, and enjoy the experience. Experience with me. This is my first VidCon. This is actually the first VidCon I think for almost all of us that are staying together. So, should be a should be an interesting, interesting couple days, to say the least. 
I actually recorded myself doing like a shitty unboxing satire of this camera I'm using right now. I think the first thing to note is all the fancy uh, symbols on top and, and the colorful doodads. Really a good indication that this is going to be a quality build. The more uh, patented doodads on the box, probably the better, I think. I guess at this point you can just see you later. So now for the bread and butter. I mean, this is what we're all waiting for. It comes in this, what looks like a static free. I think one of the neatest features of this camera is the new snap fidget spin feature. Sorry, that's a shit joke. I, please don't unsubscribe. I ended up just kind of hating it though and thought it was a stupid idea and didn't end up doing anything with it. So it's a great vlogging camera. It's really light, uh, has a lot of functionality. Choose through batteries though, so I bought a bunch of backup batteries. Um, the DSLR I usually use to record in my office, just way too unrealistic to bring that. It's bulky and it weighs a thousand pounds. To carry that around would just would not make any sense. So this is, uh, I think, the perfect solution for that. I'm really enjoying this camera so far. This is actually the first video uh, of me using this particular camera, so I'm interested to see how it looks in post-production. But uh, I've been messing around with it, some of the high frame rate stuff. It shoots some super slow-mo shit, which I'll try and utilize a little bit for some uh, added candy. In the vlogs, uh, but so far I'm pretty happy with it. Hitting up that bank, gotta deposit those big Benjamins, boy. Uh-huh. What's that? Be careful because there is a bank that might need to Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I won't I won't record anything. Well I'm headed out uh, to California to mine at VidCon, which is like the annual YouTuber so conference. What the so that I can subscribe What's the uh, the name of the channel is uh, Leon Lush is the name I use. It's like yeah, it's my my middle name. Plus lush. <laughs> Just got my bank teller to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Booyah! One sub at a time. One million. Road to one million. All starts with this motherfucking bank teller right here. <laughs> Alright, first off, I want to apologize for saying booyah. I think I'm really dating myself using that expression. Uh, secondly, the bank teller I just talked to brought up a good point, and that is that in Boston specifically, it seems like the whole vlogging life like doesn't exist. I feel like in New York or LA or lots of other major cities in the country, it's pretty prominent. There's people all over the place carrying cameras around, but like, I don't see anyone doing that here. I don't know if it's just the culture, like the East Coast kind of thing, or maybe it's, I just don't see anyone because I'm not out, I'm kind of just sitting in my office mostly, but uh, it seems a little bit like an untapped market. The problem with vlogging is, the reason I don't do it, is you need to have an interesting fucking life in order to make entertaining content. And when you're working 50 hours a week and you're married, uh, and the most exciting thing you do is watch Netflix and have your wife make you dinner, it's tough to make entertaining vlogs out of that. But I'm working on it. I'm gonna try to figure out other ways to make content that's not just criticizing other content creators in my office, you know what I mean? Another reason I don't do more public outside content is that I don't know if it's because I'm older and I didn't really grow up necessarily in my formative years in the YouTube community or in a, in a place where like walking around with a camera in your face all the time was normal. Like none of my friends do that. None of my, like nobody I associate with in real life does that. Nobody vlogs, no one walks around with a camera. So it just, it seems, it's like embarrassing for me because it seems very egocentric. But that's, I mean, that's kind of the world we live in now. Every, you know, walking around Boston, like, with a camera in my fucking face, everyone's looking at you like you're some, you know, I don't know, self-obsessed narcissist, which I guess if you're a YouTuber, that's always at least partly true. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, it's just a little weird for me, so I'm getting, I'm getting used to it. It definitely helps having a smaller camera. I did it a few times with my big DSLR, this like 30 pound rig holding it on my arm. I looked like an absolute moron, but using the smaller Sony point and shoot makes me feel a little bit less like a fucking loser. Whew, that AC feels nice. It's hot, dude. Yeah, dude, it's real humid out there. Yeah. Honey, anything you want to say to my subscribers? No. I'm not pointing it at you. Okay. Are you excited for me to meet Bunty King? I don't know who that is. You don't know who Bunty King is? 
He's. Sad. I know. I'm sad too. I'm gonna miss you. Are you excited for me to meet Wild Spartans and feed him his first Big Mac? Well, everyone deserves a Big Mac. <laughs> Can you believe that Wild Spartans has never had a Big Mac? No. It's insane. He's he's like a thousand pounds too, but he just says that. <laughs> Unbelievable. My wife doesn't believe that Wild Spartans has never had a Big Mac. I'm not sure that I do either, but we're gonna remedy that and we're gonna get it on camera in Anaheim. <laughs> So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the hell out of all of you. Be sure to uh, follow me on Twitter if you don't already. That's where I'm going to be doing a lot of videos, little mini content snippets from the week uh, with all these, uh, a lot of these creators. You might know Bunty King, Alex, Vega, Deodorant, blah, blah, blah. The list goes on. So check that out. And then when I get home, I'll be uploading more videos. And then uh, I'll be back to the memes and the music. So appreciate you. Uh, we'll see you soon. Cue in that new outro song. Hit it. Yeah. You, you.